To write the formula for chromium 2 phosphide, we'll first write the element symbols. For chromium, that's going to be CR, and then for phosphide, because it just has IDE at the end, it's going to be the single element. Just put a P there. If it was ATE or ITE, that would mean a polyatomic ion, like PO4 3 minus or PO3 3 minus. But just IDE, that's a single element. So we have the elements for chromium 2 phosphide. Because chromium is a metal and phosphorus is a nonmetal, we need to take into account the charges on each one of these elements when we write the formula here for this chromium 2 phosphide. So for chromium, the 2 here, that tells us that chromium is a transition metal, but the charge here in chromium 2 phosphide, that's going to be 2 plus. For phosphorus, we could look that up on the periodic table here. Phosphorus right here below nitrogen, 3 minus. So we have the charges for each element in chromium 2 phosphide. Because chromium 2 phosphide is neutral, it doesn't say ion after it, these charges they need to balance. And since we have a 2 plus and a 3 minus, that's a little more challenging. But we can use the crisscross method to make that a little bit easier. We can move the 2 here, and then the 3 here. We'll get rid of these symbols here. And this is the formula for chromium 2 phosphide. Let's check our work though. We said chromium, that was 2 plus. And we looked the phosphide up, phosphorus as an ion, 3 minus. So 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus. 2 times 3 minus, 6 minus. So these two, they add up to 0. Net charge is 0. This is the correct formula for chromium 2 phosphide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.